Hey everyone, I'm Osmo456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 42 of Let's Platinum Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Alright, so since last time, um, haven't really done much, but um, I was just looking, I was actually playing uh, my other file, practicing, and I noticed that the club is quite similar to this weapon here, the Craftsman ha Craftsman's Hammer, and the Craftsman's Hammer actually has a bit more counter strength and a bit more poise damage. Um, I did... Ironically, I have nine Twinkling Titanites at the moment, which is what you need to upgrade it to plus four. Um, upgrading with Twinkling Titanite gives you, um, or puts a weapon at plus five at max. Um, so I actually have nine, which would put it at plus four, but um, uh, I haven't got enough for plus five. So I haven't actually worked out which one's better, but the club is very similar to the Craftsman's Hammer. Um, and it's weird too because the club right now has an A ranking in strength and the Craftsman's Hammer has a B ranking and I don't know if the B ranking actually goes up with, um, with reinforcement. So I was looking at those two weapons but I don't know, the club seems to be, if, if the Craftsman's Hammer is better, it's only better marginally. Um, alright, so there's two areas left for us to go. There's the, um, the hole in the ground near Gilligan. Um, and there's another area over here. I was trying to decide which area to go first, and eventually I decided to go this way first. So let's start making some progress down this way. Now what have we got? We've got three Pharos Lock Stones and four Fragrant Branches of Yore. That's good. And what about the thing to trade? Okay, I've got a few of those. Maybe we'll go trading eventually. I don't think we've gone here yet, so uh, let's find out. We've got a, uh, an NPC in this direction. So let's go talk to him. There he is, and his big blue sword is reminiscent of another character's um, from one of the previous Dark Souls. Must have been one, I guess. All right, let's talk to him. A new business with me. The way you up's all blocked up, you see, by this god awful statue. Heavens above! Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? I'm in quite the pickle now. See that statue? Gives me the release. You stare at it for long enough, it starts to look alive. Ach, it just doesn't seem quite right. There are no crafting around these parts. Hey, you don't think a real life person was turned to stone, do you? <laughs> Statue. Okay. So he doesn't say his name, but that's Ben Hart of Yugo, Jugo. I don't know how to pronounce it. Three life gens, three homeward bones. It's pretty good. Um, we could have got that right at the start, but I decided not to. I'm just going to try something here. I don't think this is going to do anything, but I'm going to try it. Oh, fantastic. I think I screwed that up royally. Anyway, open this door, roll in, and then start smacking this guy. Because he is annoying. He's not too dangerous, he can cause poison on you, but he's not that dangerous. Just do a roll midway through the door animation opening and uh, and then smack him with R1, with the club. And then, there's a statue here, and we need at least one fragrant branch of yore, so let's use that. I think this character's name is Rosabeth of Melfia, I think is the... the uh, where she's from. And yes, I said Melfia, not Milfia. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This would be so much better if she was actually had had the anima animations of what she was doing. I've been oh. but it's an old game, so fair enough. <laughs> said anything. Take your time. <laughs> what is going on, on with her clothes? Like, it looks like, I mean, it looks all torn up, but it also looks like, like, it's made I'm out of fine. skin or something. I think. <laughs> it's gross. No, no, no. I'm fine. Really, I am. 
Um, my name is Rosabeth. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh, oh. you're that traveler. I still haven't thanked you. Well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. Oh, pyromancy. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks. And she gives us a single prism stone. I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. I owe you my life. If you have not come. Oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. Um, I hate to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. But just look at me. My clothes are in tatters. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? I'll take anything, whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Anything at all will do. Just put it on the ground, and I'll change into it later. Put it on the ground? I literally, I'm pretty sure I have to give her the equipment. Alright, so we can give her anything we want. What am I going to give her? I don't want to give her the Elon set, but I only have one of these. And I only have one of these as well. Um, I like giving her the Hunter's set, actually. That's where I gave her last time. Oh, in my other playthrough. Desert Sorceress Sword. Hmm. Let's give her the hunter set, it looks cool. So how do I do this? X, 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 and X. And then circle. Once equipment is given, it cannot be retrieved. That's fine. The leather set is not that great. And yeah, you get a trophy called change of clothes. Reinforced pyromancy flame. Now I have three pyromancy seeds, oh sorry, fire seeds. So let's power this up a little bit. One, two, Oh, I'm just shy. That's okay. Buy item. Has she got anything? She's got some rings. She's got a ton of fire seeds, three of them. 8,000 souls each, and a few decent spells that we can get. Uh, I've already got two of them. But st stuff like fire orb and flash sweat is pretty good. Poison mist. That could be useful. Uh, let's talk to her a bit more. I have my very own teacher. His name is Corillian of the Fold. Famed sorcerer in Melfia, our hometown. Okay, it is Rosabeth from Melfia. By sorcery. And so, well, he's so unique, you see. When he set out for Drang Lake, I couldn't let him go alone. But we were separated quite early on, I'm afraid. I'm rather unskilled, and the Lord probably ditched me. Oddly, I'm a fast learner when it comes to pyromancy. What we're fascinated by, and we're skilled at, are not always the same thing. Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? <laughs> oh dear, I shouldn't be so cheesy. It's hardly my place. I have my very own... Okay, she's when done. He set out, but thank you so so much. I'm very happy for this gift. After I change into this, I'm heading for Matula. Hmm. I'm not sure where I might find the Lord. But perhaps Matula is my best chance. Yeah, if you talk to Carillion. I'm going back to Mid I hope we could. Uh, if you talk to Carillion earlier, like I did in No Man's Wharf, then you'll find um, him in Majula. As well as uh, Rosabeth now. Alright, so once you um, pull open that door, the door you came in closes, and then all these dudes come out. So just be aware of that. Oh, did I miss a. I think I missed an item in that room. <laughs> Alright, and then you gotta take care of this guy. And got him. Nice. Alright, let's have a look around. So, an S stock. That's an interesting drop. Lloyd's Talisman. 
think that's the one. Is that the one that prevents Estus recovery? Lloyd's Talisman. Yeah, blocks Estus recovery within a limited area or given area or something like that. Alright, anyway, she can stay there for a sec. Actually, you know what? We I believe we have enough souls to reinforce Pyromancy Flame again, so let's do that. Alright, now we're out of fire seeds. And there's a few things here. In this room, I think this is an Estus Shard, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Estus Flask Shard, so that's another Estus Flask. And I know that that's really early. Also, you can go over here, so just run and jump. Um, I know you can get that really early if you just are willing to use a fragrant branch of the ore, but I wasn't willing to. I wanted to kind of grab everything first and then decide. I don't know what this guy's doing here. He might be Scholar of the First Sin only. He's uh, one of like the Gurms, I think is what he's called, but he's like zombified or something, so... But he's there. He has a large Titanite Shard, that's alright. Soul of a Proud Knight, Human Effigy. Actually, I wanted to check how many times I've died. On my other playthrough, it said 106, so... Even though I'm much further than I am here. I wanted to kind of have a look. Roll. Slam. Cool. Alright. Uh, oh, that's right. Make sure you open this door. There's a bonfire here. Normally I'd actually go straight back to Medjool and now and check what I was going to check. Which was the... Um, the amount of times I died, but there's another bonfire not too far from here, so we can go for that first. Let me just check something real quick. I want to see if this is the case. It should be, but yeah, I have no idea why. But there's like this little thing here. <laughs> it's like sharp spike, and I've tried like slamming this area and you know, pressing X to open a secret, an illusory wall, but nothing happens, so I don't know why that's there. Could have been something that they just did and forgot about, but I don't know, it seems weird. Alright, this is the Shaded Woods, so uh, there's a few enemies around here, so be careful, and they're well hidden. I think I've already walked past one. No? Okay, good. Fading Soul. Keep looking around, keep looking around. There's two. Smack, smack. Nothing too dangerous in this area. These guys are weird too, like they look like sort of close closer to men, but they have like a gigantic belly, which makes them kind of look pregnant and then makes them look like women. <laughs> so I don't know, it's weird. Oh crap. Take that. Nice. Uh, okay, let's grab this item. Barrow Stone. Oh, that's good. We actually want to get as many of those as possible. I mean, there's only... There's a set amount in each... Uh, in each playthrough, because I'm pretty sure nothing actually drops it, but... Uh, still want to get as many as possible. Keep swinging. Roll. Okay, dodge that. That was lucky. Alright, what do we have? A longsword. They drop weapons a lot. Human effigy. Soul of a proud, proud knight. Okay, over here. And, yep, another bonfire. Alright, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'll quickly light it, go back to Majula, and uh, probably call it an episode, but I'm just going to have a quick look at my deaths and everything. And luckily, Roosevelt is exactly in the way of that. <laughs> Ring of Binding. Okay, we don't need that right now. But we will need another ring soon. So I'm, I'm gonna try to farm souls to... Uh... Oh, she's not here. That's odd. She should be standing right here, but for some reason she's not. Alright, how many times have I died? Ten. Nice, that's pretty good. Quite a hive of activity we are these days. I'd forgotten how much it comfort a little companionship can bring. I wanted to actually check if he Once said anything different. But now, I am grateful. It is 
Oh yeah, he gives you something. Ooh, a soul vessel. Hey, okay. just how? Okay. I can't remember what triggers that, like what triggers him giving you that. But uh, if you talk to him there and you've done everything I have, he should give you a soul vessel, which is pretty nice. All is right. Here yes, it is a shard I found. Let's upgrade that. And I actually quickly want to check how many souls it's going to take to purchase the item that I want. Because it's actually quite valuable. And for the life of me, I can't even remember what it gives me, but I know it's something good. Alright, where are you, Shao Kua? Oh, you are just as exotic. Well, oh yes, sir. Mm. Let me have a, let me buy stuff from you. We need the Ring of Whispers, 5,800. Okay, not too bad. We also need the Cat Ring, Silver Cat Ring. So we'll buy that eventually. For now, let's leave. Um, yeah, okay, so I don't know why Rosabeth's not here yet. Uh, let me reset the area and see if she turns up. And then we'll call it. There she is. <laughs> Does that give me my... Yeah, okay, so you get another trophy for having... Um, I think it's six people. So Kale is one, he's in the house. Then you've got Chloe, she's two. Leningrass is three. Rosabeth is four. Carillion is five. Solden was already here, he might count. That would be six. Oh, Mel... Mel... Melentia is six. Uh, yeah, and maybe Lysia as well. But if Lysia counted... Rosabeth, so it's probably Melentia that counts. Solden and Lysia I don't think count. They have to be in Majula. And obviously the Emerald Herald doesn't count as well. Alright, so next time we'll go back to the bonfire that I was at and we'll make continue making our way through the Shaded Woods. So I want to thank you all for watching episode 42, I believe I'm on. <laughs> Just give me a second. Yeah, 42 of Let's Platinum Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.